Tonight in Manchester has produced a difficult pitch of variable footing. It's bone hard on the near side, but gets progressively easier towards the far touch line. And of the two goal miles, it's the one at the Stretford end, which is much the more icy. And it's that end that Southampton are defending. The choice of ends decided in the dressing room. And their lineup shows one change from last Saturday. It's an enforced one because Mick Mills is cup tied, but Nick Holmes has recovered from a rib injury and plays. Manchester United are unchanged, although Southampton will not need reminding that it was the substitute, Lou Macari, whose goal divided these two teams in the league match at the Dell earlier in the season. FIFA referee George Courtney is the man in charge. Both sides have scored seven goals in two matches in the last week. Southampton having disposed of Manchester City in the previous round, now facing United. Southampton got a 1-1 draw at Main Road and then won the replay 4-0. This is Arnold Muren, Frank Stapleton. And he's found some room. And Dennis Rowe, who turned it away. This is Arthur Alveston. Peter Shilton not to be hurried. It's hardly a breath of wind. Bula playing at the back of the defence. Mark Wright in the right back position at the moment. And Williams tucking himself in front of a back four. And uh, certainly at the start, Southampton playing a pretty tight game. Stapleton. It was cheeky in the end after he appeared to have run out of room. Nice little turn. Seemed that uh, Roford denied him coming across here. But it was a good spin on this sort of surface. But Shilton was covering that post. 3-4 for Southampton at the moment. Holmes is one of the three. Moran. Oh, well seen by Williams. Not enough pace on the ball to get it past McQueen. And Moran brings Bailey into the game at last. Shilton in two minds, and somehow Whiteside put it wide. We we're looking at Brian Robson, who'd made all the running on that. Broke from midfield, nobody was really with him in a position to challenge, although Williams tried to. And look at this, well, it's got to count for the miss of the season so far. Poor Norman Whiteside. Assets. And that will go all the way. Wallace. Armstrong is the player down. And the referee. I'm sure right to stop the play because it's quite obvious that Armstrong is certainly hurt. This problem seems to be uh, around the shoulder and neck area. There are a few boos home crowd not feeling that it was as serious as the referee thought and indeed I think Armstrong thought the United ball his white side
Liverpool wants Whiteside to come short. Stapleton left of the penalty spot. This is Moses. And Holmes deciding that on this sort of surface, the way to play it was the way he was facing. McQueen has come forward. Castles, the number nine, has come back, but McQueen towers over him. And indeed, uh, he's quite a bit bigger than Shilton. It's a good back flick. McQueen. And McQueen again! And Gordon McQueen scores. 19 minutes gone. And that's his first goal since April 81. He had near things apparently on Saturday. But perseverance really paid off for him there. Good flick on initially, and McQueen battled for it once. It was up in the air off Armstrong. Chilton thought about coming for it. McQueen rose high above everybody else, and there was a bit of a gap, and he found it. So, one miss and one goal to Manchester United. And Gordon McQueen has ended quite a long drought. Gary Bailey is a virtual spectator so far. All he's had to do is to collect the odd pickings. Pushed by Mark Wright. McQueen is uh, lolloping his way forward. Taking a position on the far side. Boys for the diagonal run in. And he may well get it. Nickel did instead. But here's Koffel. Stapleton. It's a pretty sharp effort again by Stapleton. And again, the big fella causing a few problems. Although Nickel got it away. And he rolled off his head to Koppel. And another speedy turn as uh, Wright challenged Stapleton. Well collected. And he took a divot out too, which I think surprised him. But that just shows how the ground does vary. It's talking to... Peter Shilton before the match and he said really don't know what studs to wear because it does change wherever you are didn't run kindly enough for Holmes Agbula caught slightly in two minds here's Moses Roth Armstrong Williams Starting to come forward rather more since Southampton went behind. Castles on the far side behind Robson, who lost him. Moran and Castles puts it wide. Well, I think he was a little bit too eager or wasn't sure whether Wallace was going to have a go. Robson certainly lost his man. The ball bounced off Moran. And the goalkeeper committed the other way, but the shot wide. For the first time, Gary Bailey knows how hard the ground is. It's United ball. Wide side, Moses. Stapleton didn't, Murin did. Shilton able to take it on the fall. Struck it nicely to Dardo Muren. And with his right foot. But it was very kind for Shilton. All the body behind it. Didn't bounce and dip in front of him. Good save and a good effort. And even the cries are muted, which perhaps was as well on that occasion. Rofe. 
Williams. Moran, Holmes, Rofe is square. Promising position for him if he'd like to have a go. Spurns the chance. Here's Armstrong. That's a corner. Running out of room. Two central defenders forward again. Wright and Nickel. Second time the corner's been hit really too short, though, to interest either. Free kick. Body check by Robson. again met by Moran and it was Moran he didn't really quite get hold of it Kevin Moran who knocked it out Armstrong put it back and uh, Moran really swung at it never really got round the ball Stapleton Three in the middle. Again, a bit of a teaser. Robson tried the pick up for Koppel instead of the shot. Stapleton's cross, and a good one, right along the six yard line. Shilton stayed at home. And a little dink up, really, by Robson. Well, he might have shot. Nickel. Almost a very good ball by Arnold Muren. White side. White right, looking warm enough. Managing to hold on to at the expense of the corner. And this time, Moran and McQueen come up together. McQueen goes all the way, and Moran is poised for the diagonal run. So is Robson in the middle. There's Robson, there's Stapleton, and it's hit Robson. Williams and the bounce has too often been deceiving Holmes Williams and McQueen eating up the ground and the free kick is given although I think McQueen will feel that it was a genuine attempt to get the ball and I don't think that Mr Courtney would argue with that but he was just fractionally late and the big legs brought down the very much smaller legs of Danny Wallace. Williams takes, that's Armstrong, go kick. Robson, Moses, and again Moses. Stapleton. Robson has gone to the middle for the return. Beautifully timed and very simply done. And there is Robson. And now Muren. And enough to concern the England goalkeeper. And would I think have had it, had it covered. Very simple pass inside. Two defenders. Came out to Muren. Oh, yes, Shilton would certainly have had it covered. And it's not really a surface for big men, but probably the biggest on the field, Gordon McQueen, the dominant factor so far. His perseverance producing the only goal of, in truth, a disappointing first half. 
giving Manchester United a 1-0 lead. A goal down to determination and real use of his height. He won it initially and then was absolutely determined he was going to get there first this time. And there was quite a gap to Shilton's left and he tucked the ball just inside the far post. This is the 23rd League Cup competition. The first with truly added vitamins. And Manchester United and Southampton not among the 15 previous winners. Played by Agbula. That's Gordon McQueen. Alveston, who finished up on the deck. Kevin more and more problems. The uh, left thigh heavily strapped up. Problem is a hamstring. Taken by Muren. Comes to Coffin. Line of four. It's a good header by Agbula. Well won back by Moses. And he and Nickel do a tumble. spot and call it evens Wallace Muren Stapleton to the left White side waiting in the middle so is Moses couple on the far side Holmes's clearance. Nickel, and the foot was high from Moses, and I think that had something to do with their little contretemps of a few moments ago. And they rolled across the ground like a couple of uh, skiers who'd fallen coming down a mountain. Nichols won that particular argument, gets the free kick, which Agbula will take. Rofe and Koffel, Wallace, Holmes, Buller, both these sides had to have a replay in the previous round. Southampton against Manchester City and Manchester United against Bradford City. Agbula. Williams with the throw, and certainly he and Steve Moran on the right side will find the ground a bit more to their liking in the second half. After Alveston's error. Nickel and Wright on their patrol forward. Holmes takes. Came off the head of Muren. Nickel. Moran. Muren. Benefit of the surface also to be felt by uh, Arnold Muren and Steve Koppel. coming uh, forward of McQueen. Though he doesn't, in fact, stay with him. Nobody does. Wright got the head up. Koppel. Five in the middle. Oh! And Robson 
Unlucky not to get on the end of a rasping cross from Steve Koppel. And the England captain really wasn't very far away. indication of Robson's attitude to football he would fling himself on a surface like this Moses Koppel. Found by Grilla. Charged into the back of Steve Koppel. Murin. Koppel. Oh, nasty one. Shot from so far out that nobody was forward quickly enough to get on the end of the rebound. Here comes Koppel, really struck it well and really nasty one. It dipped, but he was up off his feet quickly with Shilton. Williams. Good first time ball by Moses. Stapleton. Three in the middle, out by Agbula. Good running by Duxbury. Oh, just able to reach it as he stumbled to his left. This is McQueen, ten minutes left. Manchester United one, Southampton nil. Murin, Robson. White side. And Robson gets the free kick. And was sat upon by Puckett. And white side. And the end is well wide. Looked promising at the start. As he got round his man, placed him one way and then the other. And his shot was well spooned and well wide. <laughs> Quite know what uh, Moran has against Moses. White side again. Murin. It will add greatly to the feelings of the Manchester United supporters if their side can do what City failed to do. And here's Stapleton. That's a corner. Off Williams. And McQueen, I think this time, is going to stay for the diagonal run. Only just reaching the 18-yard area. Dancing around like a young colt. And it comes to Koppel. No mean try. Contest between McQueen and Nickel. Ended with the ball beating both. But as Koppel shot, very nearly got a flick off Nickel. If he'd have touched the ball then, Shilton would have had no chance. Stapleton. Armstrong, Castles. Now that must have hurt. And the free kick has been given. But there was nothing malicious in the challenge of Castles. Indeed, he inquires whether Duxbury has recovered. And Duxbury himself made light of it.
three United players just inside the 18-yard area. White side beaten by Wright. Alveston. Oh, nicely done. He pulled everybody into thinking he was going to shoot. This is Muren. Stapleton. Koppel. Robson. Koppel. Oh, he's found room beautifully. And then deserved better. Good piece of play by Steve Koppel. Really showed how to take on a man. Left Holmes for dead. Really thumped it across. But no one there to supply the finishing touch. And here's Puckett. Oh, Trafford faithful, already beginning with shouts of Wembley. Uh, this victory, if they achieve it, will only take them through to round five. With eight teams in that round, which will be played in the week starting January the 17th. It's Castles. McQueen concedes the corner. There are Wright and Nickel. Very well claimed. And a long clearance will find Koppel, who was in his own half of the field when the pass was made, but Williams gains on him all the way. The man without the ball, reasonably enough, travelling a great deal quicker than the man with it. Here's Castles. Castles needs help square. Finds Nickel, who has Williams moving outside him. Four in the area. Nickel now making it five. There's Armstrong. There's Castles. Wouldn't have counted anyway because the flag was up for offside. But the referee allowing play to continue. Or is he? No, he's not. Gary Bailey playing his 12th League Cup match this evening. Not had the happiest of records. He's conceded 14 goals but none this evening. And we're into the last minute, plus stoppage time. Holmes. Wallace. Turned his eyes away from it. This is Whiteside. Stapleton. Muren coming in on the far side. That's Whiteside's header. on the meat of the forehead having started the move himself moved away to the center it was a good header but too high Wallace Duxbury Stapleton Moses too wide Southampton ball Stapleton. And here's Whiteside. Children came off his line, went back. And is made to pick it out of the net. Started to come forward and then went back. And Norman Whiteside ends any lingering doubts about which side will go through to the quarterfinals. Beautifully played through by Muren. Shilton came forward, decided he couldn't make it, went back and was going back as he was beaten. So Peter Shilton beaten twice and Southampton out of the milk cup. Williams to take. And a bit of pushing and shoving by Puckett.
United ball, but it's all academic now. Referee has a check of the watch. Tells United to get on with it. Morin. Williams. Too much pace on it for Wallace. Steve Moran, still battling all the way. Keith Castles. Duxbury. Foul by right. Ball really wasn't quite within playing distance. Goal scorers have gone a long time since scoring last. Norman Whiteside, 17 matches before this evening, he'd gone without a goal, but he got the second after Gordon McQueen had scored his first since April 1981. Not to be considered with one or two of the memorable contests between these two sides, but no doubt that Manchester United are through to the last eight of the Milk Cup by a score of 2 0, and I think a score that they deserved two goalkeepers come up in conversation the two had rather different evenings